Hi, Sarah here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you how to get the decorative letters in your font work. They're called glyphs. Um, many fonts today have them. Some fonts have many. You may be familiar with fonts like Samantha. Uh, those are fully customizable. Same thing with Vondi, Amistary. This is Amistary on my screen right now. Amistary has a massive amount of glyphs that comes with it. And so I'm going to actually link Amistary. It's a font that everybody should have. I'll link it at the bottom of this video uh, when I'm done. So this is what it looks like when I used a glyph for the Y. That is not the natural Y. That is not the natural T. That is not the natural S. Those three letters are glyphs. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this in design space for ease of use for people. I don't ever recommend doing your font work in design space. That kerning error, the letter spacing and alignment error, it's it's not worth the headache. You can you can design all of your text externally. If you don't have an external design program, you can get one called Inkscape. It is a free open source program which can be downloaded. Uh, the trusted source is inkscape.org. Um, that is how all of your text work should be done is externally. If you look through my videos, there's one that shows um, how to do your text work and then get it to uh, save correctly and import to Design Space. It's going to save you so much time and energy and your text work is just going to be perfect. What you see in front of you, that was not done in Design Space. That was done externally. For the sake of this video, I'm going to show you uh, how, to, how to use glyphs, how to, how to access your glyphs right in Design Space. Check out that video. It'll give you perfect text every time. For the time being, I'm going to go ahead. I'll move this up here. I'll get rid of my cute little box. And I'm going to go to text. And I'm going to I have it on Amistary script. And I'm going to type in Merry Christmas. Okay. You see how that spacing error, that's that's the kerning error that, that uh, is in design space for whatever reason. And you can see how terrible that looks. And people will tell you to um, to detach and respace and this, that, the other thing. It's not the right way to do it. You're always gonna get hack work when you do that. Set your text up externally. Watch that other video that I have. It, I mean, look at the difference. You're never, you're never gonna get that to look like this in design space. No matter how much you try to respace it and you're just not going to make it happen. But again, for the ease of this video, I am going to show you how to access and import your glyphs to Design Space. First thing you'll want to do is go over to your start menu. Okay. Type in character map. Okay. Right here. Pull up your character map. You need to make sure that this up here, sorry for the zooming in and out there, uh, this up here needs to match the font that you're using, obviously. These are some of your glyphs. Go down here, go to Unicode, that needs to be on Unicode. Group by needs to go down to Unicode subrange. On this box that pops up, you'll go down to private use characters. Click on that. These are your glyphs, okay? Now, after I show you this, how to, how, how to, pull your glyphs out of here and use them. I'm going to show you a better way if you have Windows 10. Even people that have been using Character Map for many years, um, a lot of them don't know that there is a better app in um, in Windows 10 at least that you can see your glyphs much more clearly. So I'm going to try to find the ones. This is not generally the, uh, the Character Map that I use, like I said. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to see the glyphs here and see what I'm pulling, but I'm going to try to find the ones that I already use. Let's see, that's not it. Um, that looks similar, similar. We'll select this one just, just to show you. So select, copy, go back over to the design space, go into your text, click on your text box, uh, backspace, delete the letter that you don't want, the one you're replacing, 
and paste the one that you want. So, oops, I pasted it in the wrong spot. Huh. So, paste the one that you want in there. And that is how you switch out for um, your glyphs. I'll switch out the T so you can see. But again, that, I'm not going to try to detach and respace that and all that. It's not the right way to do it. But you can at least see how to access when you come over here and you you know you select the one you want. Of course, if you have to get rid of that one. Uh, let's pick another T. We'll pick that T. Select. Copy. Come back over to Design Space. And... Get rid of that T. Oops. And paste in the new T. Ah, wrong spot. Having trouble because I have to have the screen so small. But regardless, you can see what I'm doing. So paste in that T. And that is how you access and import your glyphs. Um, when you are doing font work with, especially with fonts that have uh, a lot of glyphs, what you want to do is you always want to type it out like I did. Type it out, type your, whatever you're putting in, out in your base font. And then import, you know, one or two glyphs. You don't want your entire thing to be, every single letter be a glyph, because then it ends up just looking like a jumble. You can see what I did here. Out of all of these letters, I only switched out three of them. And that looks nice, and it looks pretty, and it looks, you know, organized. If I had switched out, you know, seven of them or eight of them, it just, it would just look junky. So always just type it out in your base font first. Now let me just show you how to, if you're in Windows 10, okay, so go to your Microsoft Store, and I already have it uh, installed on mine, so, but, so go to... Uh -uh. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to move you here so you can see it. Go to search, and then go to character map U W P. That is the one that you want. Okay, now I already have it installed. So I'm trying to make it a little bit smaller so you can see. So you can see, oh, lost it. You can see here the difference. Oh, darn it. Sorry, I have too many things open at once. But you can see here, let's go ahead and start again, Amistary. You can see here the difference and the ease of looking at your glyphs on here compared to the old character map that's on, you know, all systems. Download this app. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, but same thing. You choose the one you want. Go over here. Go to copy. There's no, you don't need to do it. It's not two-step process in this. Just go to copy. And then, just for the heck of it, I'll show you. Um, mm -mm -mm. Again, I have like seven windows open. Okay, so just for the heck of it, I will show you. Paste. And there is your D that I just pulled out of there. Okay, so that is how you access and use glyphs in um, in Design Space. Check out that other video. I really you have so much to gain by it. You know, if you want your text to go from you know just middle of the road, what everybody's doing on Cricut. And you want it to go to some really quality, high-end text work. Go check out that other video. It makes a huge difference in what your end product looks like. Um, follow me here. If you want to follow um, Spectrum Weavers, I'm going to be having all kinds of videos on, you know, just different things you can do to improve your design work when you're designing uh, in design space. I also own a Cameo 3 and uh, Brother Scan and Cut 350. So um, if you have any of those machines also. But I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos on Inkscape and Corel Draw, um, Maybe some on Photoshop. So follow me. All right. Have a good day.